What's going on everybody? This is Living in Arizona and today we're coming to you from the Tortilla Flat area north of the Superstitions. First up on this tour is Goldfield, an old ghost town that we stop at. We explore this place and show you guys what it's like up in an old pioneering gold village. This is how they used to live back in the day along the Superstitions when Jacob Waltz, the lost Dutchman, actually is said to have buried or hidden his treasure of gold in the Superstition Mountains. This area is just off the Apache Trail, northeast of Apache Junction, and that's why they call it Apache, because that's who used to live here up in these hills. Now, as we go deeper into the Salt River Canyon area, up past Superstition Mountains, particular village on the trek, you stop here for about a half hour to an hour, grab some lunch, walk around, see what it looks like inside the saloon, maybe do a gold mine tour, panning for gold, and then head back up to the hill to Tortilla Flat. Again, this is all a day trip. And they have some stuff for the kids, like a train. Let's pack it up and head out up into the mountains. All right, everybody, we're headed to Canyon Lake. Just left out of Goldfield now, Apache Junction, and headed up State Route 88. Here's the Lost Dutchman State Park. I'll show you guys some of this uh, terrain around here. Lots of choyas. All the Apache stomping grounds here. This is where the Apache peoples were. That's why it's called Apache Junction. They have the Apache Trail out here. So the Apache Trail was a stagecoach trail that takes about six hours to drive. If you wanted to do it, it's about 90 minutes uh, to drive the loop from Lost Dutchman State Park to Tortilla Flat and back. The trail is closed. Currently the state's blocked it off and you can't go all the way up to Roosevelt Lake like you used to. So just before Apache Lake, the road stops and you have to turn around. Uh, it is a dirt trail normally that you can take all the way up to Roosevelt Lake. I've done it before, it's just closed right now, unfortunately. But on the bright side, Canyon Lake is open and this is a look at Canyon Lake, the beautiful lake in the canyon here. A lot of people come up here to do stand-up paddle boarding. Some people come up here to do sun tanning. There's also a marina in the cove where the people who do the stand-up paddle boarding go. This is kind of like a mini lake pal, if you want to call it that. So uh, really cool lake if you want to explore a lake outside of Saguaro Lake. There's four along the Salt River Canyon area. There's Roosevelt to the north, Apache just south, and then comes into the... Uh, Canyon Lake and then Saguaro Lake and then it leads into the Salt River Rapids area where people do Salt River tubing. There are a couple one-way bridges that you'll cross which actually adds to the experience in my opinion but there is two of them. Traffic stops in each direction to let the flow of traffic going one way. Anyways just be aware of that. Don't be thrown off by it but like I said it adds to the experience. There is a few recreation sites around here, this being Acacia, there's a couple others like the Laguna, and there is camping at some of these sites. So if you're into camping, you can come out here and camp. Maybe a little bit hot during the summertime, but people still do it anyway, but they like to get their watercraft in the water out here. You can also fish. There's some fish in the water, plenty of sunfish, and maybe even some bass and catfish if you're into that.
you are trying to get your boat or any sort of watercraft in the area, make sure you use the actual ramps that exist. There's plenty of them, so no real excuse for not using them. And as I said, there are designated camping grounds. Just make sure you clean up after yourself. And also keep in mind, the fire season right now is high. So it's an extreme actually. So they encourage you uh, to be definitely mindful of the fire situation because fires do break out pretty easy out here. We had a lightning strike fire just the day before. Also keep in mind, the reason these reservoirs are here is there are power plants, but also that's our drinking water here in uh, the Salt River Project right here. So try not to do anything too crazy in there. Also, the invasive species are a problem, so don't try to bring any invasive pets to our lakes. And here's a look at another one of those coves that you can take your stand-up paddleboard up and down. You can see. People are already in these coves here. And here's a little look around the marina and the campground area that you guys check in with to get the watercraft or the campground. It's going good. All right, where are we headed? Well, we're headed up to Tortilla Flat, and then if we can get up to Roosevelt uh, Lake, that'll be really good. We're basically headed up Apache Trail here. So now we've made it just beyond Canyon Lake and we're actually headed towards Tortilla Flat arriving now. There is also a campground here. This is kind of the area in between the wild blue yonder desert area where the Apaches used to live and kind of the lake. So once you go beyond Tortilla Flat, you are in the great wide open expanse of the Sonoran Desert. But before we do, let's stop here at Tortilla Flat and show you guys around what they have over here, a saloon, a general store. I think they even have a post office. Not too many people living out here, but let's show you guys around. Now don't be too alarmed, this is how the Wild West was. This is Jacob Waltz, the Lost Dutchman. He's uh, the guy that they've 
tried to identify the treasure map for. He's the guy who supposedly placed the gold in them their hills, the Superstition Mountains, or somewhere back in here. Some people say it's north, though, over in the Tonto National Forest. No one's ever found it, but they've always searched. Some people have even gotten lost trying to find it. Now we'll take a look at this saloon, this steakhouse right here. Also, if you're new to this channel, take the time to subscribe and turn on the bell to get notified every time we drop a new video. But anyways, all those dollar bills you see on the wall, they're all real. People come here and they place a dollar. It makes you wonder if uh, how many dollar bills are actually on that wall and how much are those walls worth inside that building with just the amount of USD on that wall. And yes, your eyes did not deceive you. Those are saddles used as seats. So when you're sitting down at the bar, you're sitting in a saddle. All right, now we're headed out into the wild west, the wild blue yonder here, the Sonoran Desert. Beyond this point, don't expect to have cell phone service and also when you take your vehicle, it's recommended to have four wheel drive. Don't cross any of the streams when they're flowing, the washes, and I recommend bringing a spare tire. Uh, you know, some people would say, oh, that's overkill, that's too much. Well, come on now, also bring a lot of water. What you see from the air here is where the Apache used to live. There was a lot of tributaries and washes and canyon ravines to set up a lookout point because the Apaches were warring people, but they needed defense. And sometimes what better defense than up a cliffside? Because if raiders were coming, you needed to be able to make it hard for them to get up there and also fortify and defend yourself from the high ground. So now for some off-roading, you can see the road is graded at times. So some parts of these roads are graded and some of them are just absolute Jeep trails, total off-roading into some hardcore terrain, depending on how uh, intense you want to get. But if you're going to go up these trails, you need four by four. A regular dirt road like this, not so bad. But as you can see, this high desert terrain is quite amazing. And we're gonna show you guys out back here in the Salt River Canyon, just how dramatic it really is out there. back on the Apache Trail headed up towards the end of the road but not the end of the vlog that we're doing we're just going to show you what it looks like up here around the trails uh, you do get a pretty good view up a point above this point uh, if you go keep going beyond here you would arrive at Apache Lake which at this particular moment the only way to get there is from the north side of Roosevelt Lake but let's show you around This right here is an Ocotillo. There's a little lizard right there. If you... Typically that's called a yucca. That's called a prickly pear. That one you can see, it kind of looks like a heart right there, but you can see the fruits on top of it. 
Freaking crab fruits. And then this right here is a cat claw. These have little stickers on them. Uh, so if you see them in your backyard, that's a cat claw. Next to this uh, ocotillo right here, you have a staghorn cactus. These, these are really prickly. They're not quite as bad as a cholla, but they're quite prickly. Let's go ahead and take a walk out here and look at this uh, high desert chaparral kind of setting right here. You can see a yucca, beautiful yucca right here with these tall, tall spires coming up. And you just got tons of saguaros down there. It's like a saguaro forest. And then as you go in lower elevation, you'll see choya cactus, which are really, really uh, difficult to uh, get out if you get one of those inside you. So now we head back down the Apache Trail and back towards Canyon Lake. And after a long day out there in this uh, 110 degree temperatures, we'll go for a swim, just getting the water cool off a little bit, head back down to Apache Junction, and uh, stay tuned for some more vlogs coming from around here. As you can see, there's a lot of stuff going on in Arizona right now, and the more you get out and explore. But if you haven't already subscribed, please do so, because we're gonna show you around a lot more of Arizona and there's already a bunch of videos that you can click on and see from around our summer in Arizona here. And you can see there's a look over into the valley. Try and watch some of these other videos, you may enjoy them.